Okay, enough of this nonsense. Cut to the chase. I was sent an early review copy of the new Mario Party video game. So today I will be reviewing it for you early, prior to the official release. Yes. <laughs> I am Darcy, I am the biggest Mario fan in the world, as you can tell by the fact that I own this Mario Pez. Uh, unfortunately I own the rare blurry Mario Pez, that's how rare this Mario Pez is. And that makes me the number one Mario reviewer in the universe, as you can tell by this beautiful sign. That I have. Also, no, there is no audio issues in this video. That's on your end. So, you should probably get that sorted out. Anyways, today I am reviewing Mario Party Superstars that will be coming out in just a couple of days on the Nintendo Switch. And yes, I do have one. Mario Party Superstars is a sequel to another previous critically acclaimed, well-beloved Nintendo, Nintendo Switch game, Super Mario Party. Little backstory, Super Mario Party came out in uh, 2018 and it was beloved by everyone. It was a wonderful game. It got, uh, I think, a, a 9.2 out of 10 from IGN, so you know it's good. Uh, and now they've decided to capitalize on the success of the first game and release this sequel. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of problems. Excuse me just one sec. Sorry, I got a bit of a runny nose. Oh. That's some solid boogers. Yes, the problem with um, Mario Party Superstars, it kind of sucks. First of all, the first indication of the suckiness and laziness is with the name. They just took the super from the start of Super Mario Party and moved it to the end. And then just added stars at the end of it. They must have been. It must have been at night, and they just looked up. You know, uh, Mario Super Stars. Lucky it wasn't during the day when they had that pitch meeting, or we would have Mario Party Super Clouds. Another big problem is the roster is smaller than Super Mario Party. They don't even have Shy Guy as a playable character, and you know how big of a fan of Shy Guy I am. I'm the number two Shy Guy fan in the entire galaxy. They don't even have Woody as a playable character. Like... <laughs> also, there's another fundamental problem with the game. Why do they force us to play these board game versions? All we really want is to play a bunch of mini-games. If I wanted to play a board game, I would go to the store and purchase a board game and I would set up the board on a table, invite over some friends or family and we'd gather around the table on seats and there would be dice and little figurines that would represent us and we would play a board game. When I'm playing a video game, I don't want to play a board game, I want to play a video game. Can you see where I'm coming from? Do you understand the fundamental issue? Can you, can you fathom the problem? Or are you having a little trouble following along? I'll, I'll try and dumb it down for you. Board game is board game. Video game is video game. And they should be their own 
things. And if for some reason you're a lunatic who's like, no, mister, I want board game and vid game together. Well then, go buy Monopoly on the Switch, or just buy Super Mario Party. You can get Super Mario Party for the same price as this new game. Why would you buy the new game? It's stinky, it's a shitty sequel remake, lazy trash. And you know how much it hurts for me to say, because I am the biggest Mario fan in the world, because if I wasn't, would I have a Mario Kart cart? So to bottom line it for you, before you buy, don't. I don't know what you're thinking. Darcy, the last few times you've given Mario negative reviews, he's tried to rape you in the ass. So aren't you concerned that that's going to happen again, or do you actually like it because of reasons? And to that I say, that's an oddly specific and peculiar question. I don't know why you pull that out of the ass. But also, how is he gonna get revenge when he's dead? Why would you actually think Mario gets revenge for a bad review would be possible? He's no longer with us. Uh, as can be evident by the fact that the Mario series and franchise has been stagnant and boring and lazy for like, I don't know, since late 20, mid, early 2019. Frankly, the Nintendo Switch needs to just leave Mario in the past, I think, and focus on porting old games of other series to the new OLED Switch. We need some OLED exclusive ports. Perhaps we could get a port of Ratchet and Clank, or Jack and Daxter exclusively to the OLED Switch. Just a pipe dream of mine. Mario Party Superstars is just a poor man's Sega Superstars Tennis. And a very, very poor man's version. It's basically completely terrible. It's actually nothing like Sega Superstars Tennis, because Sega Superstars Tennis is actually a good game. Anyways, if you're watching this video and you're a big fan of Nintendo... <laughs> I'm a big super fan of Nintendo! <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, it's not right to make fun of the handicapped. <laughs> but I'm a bad person. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and as always, um, oh, I gotta give it a rating! For a rating, um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pity, so I'll chuck it an eight, uh, 7.6 out of 10. I'm feeling pity, I, I, I feel bad after giving such a scathing review, I want to counteract it, so, uh, anyways, this was a terrible video, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I'm, hope, I'm glad, I hope you... Uh, ha cha cha cha